morning all, back out again, bright and early, Friday morning. We're back out on this WK Scrambler Bike 1 final test ride. So we're going to crank the miles up really quick. I am back in for MOTs in just a second. I've got about 25 minutes to uh, get this ride done. Quick MOT on a car, and then I'm back on bike 2. Right, so we are at Dobby's. Yes, the one that's got the stickers everywhere. And only my stickers there at the moment, so add your stickers to that wall, as you've seen on the last test ride. Goes through the clutch ever so sweet, up, so you can click through the gears very easy. Gear placement on this is very good, clutch is adjusted perfectly. Right, just waiting for cars to clear, and we're going to get out, down the dual carriageway, back past Asda, and back to the garage. So, final test ride. And then the last thing to do, the obligatory clean, check all the tyre pressures, final bolt check, AC, uh, not ACF, the FS365 on it now, we're using the water-based stuff. And everything is now adjusted properly, I've brought the bars up a little bit, just so uh, I get a bit better mirror placement and a better control of the, the levers as well, so I've set the levers slightly down just so it's set up absolutely perfectly for a new rider and that is something we do sit on the bike to check anything sit on the bike and check it don't just look at the outside and go yeah that's near enough we do absolutely everything spot on so rolling in and it is obviously Friday morning all the works traffic everybody is getting ready to go to work we are going to go left here very easy to look down and just see that your indicators are on and you've got the telltale on the dash. So, display on this, all digital. Very, very good idea from WK Bikes. One speedo, not half a dozen clocks or loads of bits and pieces to just speedo. And the only thing I've got to do now is set the time. So it says four o'clock on there. It's about quarter past eight in the morning. So back to the workshop, set the time up on it. Get it absolutely good to go. Give her a quick clean and we are done. Another bike gone, now we've got rid of three Titans as well. We've got the, uh, someone's bought the Freedom as well, the big UM Freedom. So that is going to be up and test ride to do. So you can tell bike season has started because we are selling bikes by the bucket load. Oh, get it into the right gear. And we are off. And as always, dual carriageway, and I'm only doing 45 mile an hour. Position one, do not occupy the darn lane. And everyone's like, why do you not sit right out in the middle of the road? Occupy the lane, make them go round you. Because I tend to watch my mirrors, it also gives me an extra little bit of runoff to the side, should I need to move over. And being a dual carriageway, they will go round you. They won't just stay in your lane and try and squeeze past. So position one, two, sitting out in the middle, 45 mile an hour. But watching the mirror and every single car will go out to the outside of the dual carriageway. Single lane, yes, I will occupy the road. Make them wait, but on a dual carriageway, I tend to sit position one, two. This one, one, two, five, and you would on a bicycle. Why would you occupy? People go, oh yeah, but you should be out in the middle dominating the lane. If you were on a bicycle, you would be position one or in that little bit of cycle. And you wouldn't want to be on that cycle lane there. That is a cycle lane down the inside. Look at the state of it. So they will be in position one. But the lorries go round you. The cars go round you. Absolutely good. Now, our YouTube crew that we have... And if you haven't seen our YouTube crew, so it's myself, Peaky Biker, Mad Old Biker, Boo Rider 61, Rhythmic, or Rhythmic Biker, Uncle Red, Brumtown Rider, Slow Bones, Solo Moto UK, GTR Travel, Simon GTR 1400, Andy GSA Tractor, loads of us, there are loads and loads and loads of us, Crazy Legs on a Bike, motor rev so loads of us boys out there on the motor vlog community but normally friday nights is 
the uh, live stream with RB Wednesday night the midweek mumble now one of our youtubers and I'm going up to Scotland now so we're going to be talking at Lockwood and Esher Vlogster and of course the big man himself Z Head Motor Vlogs has got a new bike yes go and check him out Z Head Motor Vlogs now he's got a ZX9 R he did have a ZZR 1400 and he sold it to one of our Milton Keynes crew mad old biker who absolutely loves the bike but Stu has now bought a new bike it is a Triumph yes he has got himself a massive great Triumph with the top box and the panniers and everything on so it means that he can go out and start doing some uh, long tours and adventure biking and he absolutely loves the bike and it is a thing of absolute beauty so go and check out ZN Motor Vlogs go and see his new bike he's just done the, the uh, latest video of the run on the new bike and boy does it look nice so well done Stu great little bike I did comment on his video love that bike so he's now gone to Triumph and hence why uh, bikers do switch around the bike brands I tend to be Kawasaki all the time and obviously never ever getting rid of that GTR 1400 I love that bike but I have got the Harley will I get myself a BMW if I had the money then yes I would I would go out and buy myself an adventure bike as well but I do like the 1250 GSA or the GS Adventure they are a very very nice bike I like that little sticker. Please be patient. You were a learner once. Yes, we were all learners once. And uh, that's a nice bit of paintwork on that. Look at that. M.A. Ponson B. Limited. There's some nice little vehicles out today. So, back to the garage we go now. Mileage is up, 10 miles on the bike, hunky dory, all perfect, happy days. And of course, that low sun as well. Thank God for an Iridium visor with a sun shield in the front. So, hence why I use an Iridium during the day, and then uh, I have got two visors for this. I put the clear one on at night. Now, obviously, with my eyesight, my night vision at the moment is absolutely naff and especially early mornings as well I do struggle at the moment with uh, poor lighting and also close up work as well because uh, the cataract is not getting any better I'm now down to about 30% vision in my left eye which is not good so this my good eye but the, uh, the hospital appointment is coming up shortly March 28th so I'm going to be in for a day or so having my uh, pre-op assessment and I will probably look like a, uh, a pirate come the uh, Friday night live stream because I'm going to have to wear an eye patch for a couple of days and then hopefully they can get me in and uh, I can have my lens replacement so I did ask him I said do you use the uh, the lenses off of um, sort of dead bodies or no, no, they're synthetic ones, so we use a synthetic lens, so it's not of a dead body, so I'm not going to be looking for somebody else's uh, lens, thank God for that. And we're off, is he going to cut my lane? Hopefully not. So back to the garage we go, a cup of coffee time and a cigarette and then crack on to my uh, next job of the day. But as always WK Scrambler good as gold and as long as you run these in correctly they will last you a lifetime. Keep them clean, keep them ACF, keep the chain looped, check your oil, water, uh, oil, tyre pressures, don't have any water on this in air cooled engine. but. Uh, check all your bits and pieces make sure you do that on a daily or weekly basis if you're riding every day and it will look after you look after your bike it will look after you <coughs> so bike two coming up shortly keep an eye out for that video coming up but bike one all good 
and we have 11 miles on the clock by the time I get back to the garage so bike runs absolutely fine no issues are found so coffee time in shoes So keep an eye out for the next one guys, don't forget Friday night live streams, Wednesday night midweek mumble peaky biker, and we will see you on the next one, till then be well, ride safe, and from RB, as always, it's a big goodbye from me.